Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm starting another random vlog in the new house. It's the first vlog I'm recording here. And the reason why I'm doing this was because I recorded a random spend the day with me in my previous house. And even though you didn't know that, and that vlog has been up maybe for a month, even more maybe, by the time this one goes up, but that vlog was recorded in like the last two weeks or something that we spent in that house. So I thought it was fun, given that I have one that I recorded in the last few days of that house, having another one that I record in the first few days of this house. So hello and welcome to another day in the life of Magnet. It's 11 a.m. now. I'm a morning person ever since we moved to this house. And the reason for that is because this massive, massive, massive window that we have in our bedroom doesn't have a blind. We ordered the blind, but it hasn't arrived yet. So basically at 7 a.m. when the sun starts rising, we wake up. And also, I don't remember the last time I had a nap. I've been very good, I'm very proud of myself. I wake up early, around 8. Josh has even been waking up with no alarm to go to work and he studied downstairs. He gets up, goes in the shower, all that. I stay in bed for a little bit longer, usually just on my phone. This morning, I actually managed to read a little bit of The Harrow Lake. I don't have the book here, I took it downstairs. But this was the first time I read I believe since we moved to this house because I've just been so tired and not really wanting to read anything but I really want to finish that book so today this morning I finally managed to read a little bit and then I get up and yesterday when I thought I was going to do this vlog today I thought on starting it like straight away first thing in the morning but then I forgot up until 10 minutes ago when I was like oh shit I was supposed to be recording a vlog so hence why I'm catching you up on what happened so far then I got up I went downstairs, I had my breakfast, let Suki out in the garden, she was chilling in the sun for a little bit, but then the sun went away and she came back inside. And now she's here in our bed, just chilling. I've been super productive, been doing a lot of things around the house, assembling furniture, all the things, working on my new channel, editing, editing, editing. It's been crazy, super productive. And I think that in part, the reason why I've been like that is because I've just been getting ready for the day every single day and waking up early. But that's a little bit arguable because I still think that even if you wake up later, as long as you do the same amount of things, you are still productive. That's business for another story. It's 11 a.m. now, like I mentioned, and that means that my announcement video of me telling you guys that I bought a house has just gone up. It went up at 11 a.m. and it's now 11.06. So you guys are now for the first time discovering that we bought a house. And in reality, here's a little bit of behind the scenes for you guys. We've been in this house for almost two weeks, but we didn't have Wi-Fi up until yesterday yesterday that's why i couldn't share the news earlier because we only had the data in our phones and i couldn't upload any videos to youtube so i've been recording i've been editing i had all the videos ready except i couldn't upload them i have a million things to do on my to-do list now let's go downstairs so he's probably gonna stay in bed and chill a bit longer that's what she's been doing but now let's go downstairs i think josh is assembling some mirrors so let's go have a look <laughs> How's it going? It's a little bit off, but it's good enough. Is <laughs> it a little bit off? Tiny bit. Like sideways? No, just like off centre from the sink. Hello. It's half twelve. I'm having a little bit of a hiccup in the way that we were assembling the bathroom mirror. Josh put the one in his study and then together we were putting it on the general bathroom, the bathroom we have on this floor, I don't know what to call it, the bathroom where we have the bath. We're putting the mirror there. Then we did some things wrong and then we needed spacers and we couldn't find the spacers and also we're running low on wall plugs because in the UK the walls are dry walls so we need those plastic pieces that go in the wall for you to screw on them and we had the box of them but we're running low. Then I realized that before we moved I actually bought some of those wall plugs and some extra screws just so in case we needed them. So I had three small bags of three little things that I bought and I can't find it. And then I kept thinking and thinking, where did I put them? I'm gonna deviate here a little bit, but me and Josh, we even have this joke on how I always know where everything is. And when Josh wants to know where something is, even if it's something that is his, he asks me, where did I put my ex? 
because I always know what everything is. It was getting really frustrating because I was like, where did I put the damn little tree packages? And I realized that I had them on my desk. So I came to my desk and I was looking around in my dress drawers. And then I realized that I had them in a yellow cup. There was supposed to be like a plant pot, but I was just using it for general things. And I don't know where that is. And I've looked through all the boxes that we haven't unpacked yet. That is only three of them. And it's not there. So I don't know where the yellow pot is. But I'm pretty sure that the screws and the wall plugs that we need aren't there. So I need to ask Josh if he knows where the damn yellow pot is. But it's really frustrating because I always know where everything is. Except now. Guys, look at my eternal to-do list. I have it on the computer this time because it was easier as we were moving instead of having it on my notebook. But also I need to assemble the malm. We bought a new malm, it's still sitting downstairs. And we're also collecting a new malm because it's out of stock in Ikea and we need it. And we found someone selling it on Facebook. So we're gonna go pick it up this evening after Josh is done working. However, it's quite far away, it's like, one hour 20 each way it's gonna be almost three hours round trip to go pick up this damn mom just because ikea has it out of stock and we really need it so we can complete our bedroom because we need somewhere to put the tv that is currently sitting on the floor however i just realized that today is the 10th of november which means today it's the semi-final round for the goodreads choice award and i'm recording a vlog of reading those books so now i'm gonna change to that vlog and go have a look what are the semi-finalists and what good things i'm gonna be reading even though i haven't been reading anything but it's a different story i'm gonna go to the other vlog and mm -mm -mm. oh one more thing did you see this here on my eternal to list record video with Philippa. That's right, we're gonna be recording a video together. We prepared it yesterday and today we're gonna be recording it. Obviously not together together because we're in quarantine. Oh, have I mentioned the UK is back in quarantine since last week, I think, which sucks because I really wanted to go explore the charity shops of the new area where we live and obviously they're closed. Anyway, I digress as always. I'm gonna be recording a video with Philippa later on. I'm not gonna tell you which one it is just in case this vlog actually comes out before the video with her and I don't want to spoil my own content but yes very exciting now let's find out what the semi-finalists are and I'll come back to this vlog later on many many minutes later you know what I actually need to do that I've been postponing for ages now and I really need to get sorted is that I need to meal plan because I need to go grocery shopping ever since we moved into this house almost two weeks ago I haven't been grocery shopping for like a full grocery we've just been buying frozen pizzas, chicken nuggets, meatballs, all sorts of those things. So we do go to the grocery shop a lot, just not for a proper homemade meal. So I have my recipes here, I have my recipe binder, folder, and I have the ones that I write by hand here in this notebook. And I'm gonna do what I always do when I meal plan, is that I'm gonna choose seven recipes. So supposedly the equivalent for one week, but I don't allocate them to certain days. Because for me, personally, I've tried that method and it doesn't really work for me. Because let's say if I had it allocated to on Wednesday, I need to cook these fancy seven course dishes. Obviously it doesn't happen. But you know, imagine some days I have allocated a meal that takes me one hour to cook but I just can't be bothered that would stress me out feeling that I need to do that because that's what the meal plan does this way I just meal plan in general seven meals and then each day I look at the list on the things that I haven't done yet and I go like do I want to cook something more elaborate that takes longer today or do I want a quick 10-15 minutes put together meal so that's the way I do it I choose seven meals and then during the seven days period i just choose as i go and also this way it gives us room for takeaways for frozen pizzas if we want to for mcdonald's drive through for all the things like if one day we don't fancy any specific meal go get something frozen or something or order in and it just allows us to go with the flow so i plan for seven days but it never lasts us only seven days usually it goes more to two weeks like 14 days because there's so many other things in between. I just open a meal plan and I put the seven recipes. I usually include some new ones as well. In this case, I had three new ones. Usually I just go for one new one and six repeated ones. But in this week, I didn't fancy any of the recipes that I had. So I added three new ones. And this way, I, it also allows us to try new meals. And if it's something that we like, I keep them on the folder. I print the recipe and when I cook it, if necessary, I sometimes write some notes. In this one, I didn't write anything, but sometimes I 
right replacements or, or something. If it's good, I then keep the recipe in the folder. If it's bad or nothing special or it's just something that we don't really want to have again because it was not that special, then I immediately throw that paper away instead of keeping it. This way, I know that all the recipes that I have here are things that we had and love. And also, another thing, I know this is a lot of blah 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 for just meal planning, but I like these things and I like these little tips and techniques and I think you guys appreciate them as well. But if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. So another thing that I do is that when I cook the meals, I have the recipes out, obviously. So what I do is that I put it in a folder, but like right in the front, so this way, I know that the things at the back of the folder are the things that I've cooked the longest ago and that the, like the second page here, I cooked it very recently, which also allows me to have a variety of recipes and not always eat the same things over and over again. Okay, that's all the blah 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 that I have to tell you. I'm now going to choose seven recipes from here, from my notebook. I look on Pinterest as well, that's where I get a bunch of recipes and then I'll come show you what recipes I decided to plan for the next few days. Half 3 p.m. I did my meal planning like I showed you and then I double checked just to make sure that I could in fact not order groceries and I can't. I mean I can but not for now, only for like two weeks from now which is a bit pointless because we have no food literally. The supermarket that I'm gonna go to is Lidl which is just around the corner from us. I could technically walk there but because it's a lot of things I'm gonna take the car so then I can bring the bags back. Bring the bags bring the bags back. Lidl is not exactly known for having lots of diversity in products, like there's some things that I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get there. For instance, I want caramel drizzle, which is what I put in my coffees. What else? Like meats and stuff, obviously it has, so it's fine. But then I also want caramelized sausages, I don't know if they're gonna have them. These are things that are not that specific, but sometimes Lidl doesn't have it. So my plan is I'm gonna go to Lidl, mark off the things that I get from there, and then depending on what's missing, I might drive to Tesco, which is down the road. I'm gonna go and I'm expecting this is gonna take more than one hour, but hopefully less than two. Time to go grocery shopping. It's been a long, so long time since I did a full on grocery shopping in an actual supermarket instead of online ordering. So wish me luck. Also, I never used this little, so I don't really know where the things are. I know where the frozen pizzas are, but I don't know where everything else is. <laughs> so it's gonna take me even longer and I'll probably be walking around in loops around the supermarket like the crazy woman that I am. Okay, let's go. Much, much, much later. It's been a while since I spoke to you. So it is now quarter to 10 p.m. And let's see, last time I spoke to you was when I went to do my groceries. I went to do the groceries and then when I got home, Josh was like, we need to go, we need to go because we needed to go to the GP and then collect the 
mall like i said so we just brought all the bags in i quickly put everything in the fridge and in the freezer i didn't organize the things i just put them in and the rest of the things are still inside the bags and then we left went to the gp and we went to collect the mall now we drove one hour 20 to get to this place to collect the mall from someone's house we paid 20 pounds for it and when we got there we were like oh it's really lightweighted and if it's really well in the car and yay happy days so then we drove one hour 20 back we got some dinner on the way back as well and we got home and as soon as we got it inside the house i was like no this is not right this one is too small it's supposed to be slightly taller we do have this one that is three drawers but we have the double one and we wanted the one that is just three drawers instead of six but so I knew it should be this size also because we used to have the TV on top of this thing. But because now our ceilings is like this, we cannot have the TV here. We need to have the TV there on the side. You can see it there. This is where we wanted the TV. But the other one that we have is four drawers. So it was too high. And so I wanted to buy this one. So then we got this one. And I don't think the camera really makes it justice to what I mean. Even though it's similar, it's not the same thing. This is the proper Malm and this is the cheap imitation. It's still from Ikea, it's just the cheap version, it's not the Malm. We didn't think that it was really good that we were getting the Malm for £20 when in reality it goes for like 70 or something, so we were actually quite surprised. But now it's explained, it's not the actual Malm. It will do for the time being, but it's annoying because we wanted this thing here, just the three drawers, and we're gonna put it here along this wall and then because the TV was still gonna be larger than that in order not to look weird, we did buy like the bedside table one, but we bought the one that has three drawers. So it would be like a little extension to the thing. And we're gonna put all that in this wall and then the TV on top and it was gonna look perfect. So now we do have the bedside table one with three drawers that I have downstairs, I still need to assemble it. And now we have this weird one that doesn't really go with the other one. So basically, our room is still not complete and it's still not going to be complete for a while. It is what it is. We just paid £20 for this one. So probably as soon as the other mom, the actual mom comes back in stock in Ikea, we're just going to order that one so we can have the room looking properly good. But for the time being, this is what we have and this is what I have to work with. All right, I finished upstairs putting the things in the drawers. I'm getting really tired. It's now half 10, so it's approaching my time to go to bed because like I said, I now wake up very early. Let me quickly, very quickly, give you a grocery haul but like I said very very quickly without getting into any details and then we're gonna wrap this vlog up. Here's the overview I put everything in the table some things I had them already in the fridge and I got them out just to show you so if that's not dedication I don't know what it is. I'm gonna start by showing you the meats and the animal products and then I'm gonna put those away back in the fridge and then I'm gonna show you the rest so I'm gonna put here a timestamp for you in case if you want to jump the animal products out and then see the rest of the grocery haul. So here we go. I got smoked sausages. Never really got this brand. This is from Lidl. Usually I get a different package, but this is what they had. And I also got outdoor bread British pork sausages. I actually wanted the caramelized sausages, but they had none. So that's what I got. Minces. I got lean minced beef and I got lean pork mince. Got some bacon, just little cubes, and then two boxes of chicken breasts. I actually wanted the frozen ones because they are cheaper but I couldn't find any. Got two bottles of lactose-free milk, just single cream. I wanted the non-dairy one but I couldn't find it. And then creme fraiche and there is sour cream. Six eggs, that's for the cake and from some other recipe. Uh, two things of chocolate. And then some cheese. I got some mozzarella and two big blocks of cheddar. These ones are blocks. This one is already grated because I couldn't find it without being grated. Okay, moving on to the rest of the haul. I removed the meat and the things from there. So let's see. I got one bag of bananas. Also, some of these things, this time I bought them in bags. Usually I buy without bags, but I wasn't prepared. I didn't have my reusable bag. So I had to buy them in bags, even though I don't like it. But I thought it was better than using the disposable bags that they had there. And so you're going to see lots of things in bags. So bananas, carrots one courgette, red pepper, a bunch of broccoli. Each of these packs is two heads. So I got four heads in total and that's a cauliflower. I wanted cauliflower rice, but I couldn't find it. And I Googled it and apparently you just shred the cauliflower. So mm. orange juice, like a big boy carton for big families. 
<laughs> some potatoes, milk chocolate, this is gonna go on my carrot cake on top, onions and red onions, spinach, like a huge bag of spinach. I didn't want one so big because I'm not gonna need this much, but they didn't have it without being this big. This is like the powdery flavor for chili con carne because I was looking for Mexican spice for one of my recipes, but I couldn't find it and I figured this would probably be the same thing, question mark, who knows. Uh, what is this? This is red beans. I wanted black beans, but little did I have them. And then I ended up going to Tesco and they had black beans there, so I could have bought them. But I googled, is it the same thing as black beans? And the answer was no. However, I still bought it. <laughs> this is some parsley. I was running low. Dijon mustard. Again, didn't have any breadcrumbs. This would be something that I would do my own if I had any stale bread, but our bread is still good, so I just bought that. Then two bags of penne. I wanted penne and I wanted fusilli, which is the thoroughly, squirrely, thoroughly thingy one, but they only had this one, so I bought two bags instead. And some butter, got dairy-free butter. And that is it, plus the meats and things they already showed you. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me once again. As always, talk to me in the comments if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, if you have anything you'd like to tell me, talk to me in the comments. I love reading your comments and I know I don't always reply to all of them, but I always, always, always put the heart in, even if sometimes I'm one month later to do so, I always put the heart on them, even if I don't say anything. You know, I am very grateful and I do appreciate all the time that you spend writing me comments. You're the best, you're the best. I hope you enjoy spending the day with me and seeing what I get around and let me know if you'd like to see more of these random day in the life vlogs and I'll see you very soon with another video. Bye!